Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the TC66C. Uh, this is a USB analyzer uh, and it has a color display or USB tester and it's a very neat device because uh, it helps you uh, to diagnose uh, various parameters especially uh, for power banks if you have a lot of power banks or have work to do with them or a lot of mobile devices usb cables and stuff like that you can uh, use this uh, tiny device to test all of that to test if the cables are delivering the right amount of power uh, if the um, power bank really has a quick charge capability uh, and you can do lots of stuff uh, with this tiny device it also has a mobile app that I'm going to show you right away. Uh, what is nice about the uh, newer model, the 66C, is that it has a bidirectional uh, working mode, so you don't have an input or output. Uh, it's just a plug on this side and another plug on this side, so you can either connect it to the power source here or use the power source here and use this as an output for your device so you it doesn't matter how you install this in your usb circuit it will work in both ways and uh, it will show you the uh, working way also so if i connect it to this power bank it boots right away and there you go you see this arrow here it says that the output is in that way and uh, shows the voltage right away from this uh, power bank if I want to connect it to a mobile phone, um, I'm going to use it reverse. So I'm going to connect the power cable to the USB power bank like that. Then I'm going to connect it to this device and it will show that now the power is going in that direction. And if I connect it to my mobile phone, it starts to measure the current so it shows the voltage and as you can see it's now delivering 1.85 amps that is charging my mobile phone right now then you have several options here if you go to uh, the menu here you can change uh, the display for the main options that you want uh, it shows also the system information and you have settings here and if you press and keep press the button here you can cycle to the through the settings so you have uh, backlight delay you have backlight um, intensity temperature symbol usb and bluetooth you can enable disable you can rotate the display and you have this power delivery button here you can enable disable that is for quick charge if you want this to be compatible with quick charge and you have several languages and you can restore the factory defaults of course and I can change the settings here if I want with the other button and pressing it for a few seconds the other one it goes out of the menu and I can cycle through the screens again you also have this uh, other button here this for power you can turn the device off and it will not uh, conduct power anymore it will stop charging just like terminating the circuit if you want to do that you are able to do it just from one button and here is the USB app, uh, it connects uh, through Bluetooth, of course, you need also location enabled, otherwise it may fail to detect the Bluetooth device. And you get this information here, you get this graphic showing uh, the current flow, and somehow it should have also shown uh, voltage, but it's not kind of visible. Uh, you do have the option to scale time but you don't have the option to scale current looks like not but, and you have this cursor to as a reference that's okay uh, it shows the voltage the current the power uh, it shows the data connection uh, the pinout of the plug uh, 
uh, you get this resistance this is uh, the calculated resistance uh, ohms law for the power flow so my mobile phone has the equivalence of a resistor with 2.5 ohms you also have this temperature indicator but it's the temperature for the device itself as the sensor is inside it's not the phone or the battery temperature because that's how it works and you cannot measure it it doesn't have an external sensor and you have the firmware version and you have here the milliamps and the milliwatt hours total uh, since you have used the device and from setting somewhere you can um, uh, reset that uh, also you have these uh, buttons here and the buttons work with the device like a remote but it's actually not uh, going into the settings it uh, emulates the buttons here so you have the two buttons here and you can it's the same like pushing the push button so not very practical and you also have this button which is not a restart button it's the screen rotation button and that's the app it doesn't do any more than this um, it's basic uh, basic but useful if you want a bigger screen than this device and now let's test uh, this uh, uh, power delivery this uh, power bank should have up to 18 watts of uh, power so quick charge should work and I've connected this and now I'm going to connect it to my mobile phone and let's see what happens and we have 5 volts and 1.8 amps and there you go it has jumped to 9 volts and 1.3 amps so it's now working in a quick charge so uh, it charges faster and you can see there PD 3.0 so it's fast charging my mobile phone right now and you can actually check that and it will show you the exact voltage that it's uh, going into your phone and that's very nice as you can test a lot of phones chargers and stuff like that and you can check cables you will find that a lot of cables will limit power or will not make uh, quick charge work and there are plenty of stuff so you can get the best charger but if you have a bad cable it will not do the job or maybe the phone will not work in a quick charge mode and there are plenty of uh, things that you can uh, check with this one so highly recommend it is very cheap works really nice the app it's it's okay but it's uh, not great i would have wished to have access to the settings directly and set up a device more easy not to navigate with the same buttons so it's the same thing so that was it for now i hope that you have enjoyed this video and until my next one see you and bye bye